Hey everyone, my name is Barbara. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome if it's your first time here. Today I'm going to show you how to add zeros to your Excel numbers. I have some numbers here. Let's go through an example. One, two, three, four, five. So we've got five digit numbers generally. And what we want is seven digit numbers or a minimum of seven digit numbers. So you've probably tried adding zero, zero, and when you hit OK, it disappears. What we can do is we can, oh, OK, I'll format this as a number. I'll format it as a number, I'll try again, add the two zeros and still it won't take the zeros. What you've probably then done is added a apostrophe and you've gone zero zero and well that looks like it works but that is actually now stored as text because Excel interprets that as text so you still can't use it as a number if you wanted to. So what can we do? Well there is a way around it let's just remove that. What we can do is we can so let's select our numbers and what we want to do is we want to format the number in a custom way. So what we want to do is type, if you want one zero, type zero, and then a zero for every number. So we have five digits, so it would be zero, one, two, three, four, five, zero, and then hit okay. And you can see that it's added a zero to the number. So let's go back again, and let's say that we want two zeros in front of it. Let's add another zero to it and hit OK and that adds two zeros to it. But you can see here that we've got a rogue number here and it is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven digits in itself. So we aren't going to have any zeros added to that one. If you did want to add zeros, you would need to go back and then add in another zero. So it does get a zero added to it, which will increase the zero of the five digit numbers. So if you generally have a data set that's uniform and you know you have want to add two zeros to a five digit number, there's your solution. How to add zeros to numbers in Excel. I hope you found the tip useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, ask me a question in the comments below. I'll always answer your questions and I'll read all the comments. Hit the notification bell so you'll know when I record another Excel tip video. And thanks for watching.